O not King of glory, O not God of glory, O not the glory of Israel, O not the first and the last, the beginning and the end, who was, who is, who is to come, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the omnipotent God, the omniscient God, the omnipresent God, the all knowing God, the God that is beyond understanding, the God that is beyond compression. Let your name be exalted, let your name be praised, let your name be promoted today because there is no one like you, there is no one but you. You are the only living God, you are the only real God, you are the yes, you are the amen. All the other gods are the works of men, all the other gods are manufactured by men, but you are the creator, you are the maker, and because of this reason, you are called the God of heavens and the God of the earth. You are called the King of heavens and the King of the earth. You are called the Lord of heavens and the Lord of the earth. You are the Alpha and you are the Omega. You are the creator of the heavens, you are the creator of the earth, you are the Lord of the heavens and you are the Lord of the earth. You are the ruler of the heavens and you are the ruler of the earth. You are the maker of all the heavens, you are the maker of all the earth. Therefore, I worship you today. I give you all praises, I give you adoration, I adore your name, I lift your name above every other name because only you can create you created the elephant you created the lions you created the hippopotamus yet you are the god that created the hands who is like you oh god among men who is like you oh god among the nations who is comparable to you who is loving like you who is merciful like you who is gracious like you who is holding like you who is righteous like you god of my fathers i give all glory the god of abraham the god of isaac the god of jacob the god God that changed not, the God that finished not, the God that is abounding in mercy, the God that is faithful, the great provider, the God that he is the great healer, the Lord that delivers, the great deliverer, the Lord my shepherd, the horn of my salvation, my buckler, the pillar, the rock. I give you all praises today because we are loving God. I give you all praises today because we are true God. I give you all praises today because you are the God that can do all things. I give you all praises today because your name is good. I give you all praises today today because we're a sweet God. I give you all praises today because we're a God that can be trusted. Let your name be lifted up. Let your name be magnified. Let your name be exalted. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. And the same was with God in the beginning. All things were made by him and without him was anything made that was made. In him was life and that life shineth in darkness and darkness comprehended it not. Even as I share your word today I pray that you shall give your people the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is Save the World, an online Christian ministry with a divine money to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as a listener of this message, as a hearer of this message that desires to be set free from marital failure, as a listener that wants to be set free from poverty, as a listener that wants to be set free from struggling, as a listener that wants to be set free from sicknesses, that as a listener that wants to be set free from any form of sin and by the word of God, even as this word is coming to you today, the Bible says that ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And by the word of God that is coming to you today, I decree your deliverance, I decree your freedom. Receive your deliverance, receive your deliverance, receive your freedom, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, receive your deliverance, receive your promotion, receive your deliverance, receive your marital breakthrough, receive your deliverance, receive your babies, receive your deliverance, receive your son earth, receive your deliverance, receive your jobs, receive your deliverance, receive your breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. Blessed is he that read it and they that hear the words of prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. That verse is the subject of this sermon which is titled I need God's blessings. Let's hear of this message that I need God's blessings. You may need God blessings in your business. Perhaps you need God blessings in your academies. Perhaps you need God blessings concerning the fruit of the womb. Perhaps you need God blessings on your ministry. Perhaps you need God blessings on your job. Because the word of God says there is a God that blesses. Even as you key yourself to the word of God receive the blessings of the Lord of Daniel. Receive the blessings of the Lord of Jacob. Receive the blessings of the Lord of Abraham. I prophesy to you that the blessings of God is your portion. The blessings of Abraham is your portion. The blessings of Isaac is your portion. The blessings of Jacob is your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is written concerning Abraham in Genesis chapter 13 verse 2.
two that he was very rich in cattle in silver and in gold i prophesied that your riches shall manifest in cattle they shall manifest in silver they shall manifest in gold in the mighty name of jesus christ your riches in dollars your riches in euros your riches in pounds your riches in nera receive it now receive it now in the mighty name of jesus christ it is written concerning isaac in genesis chapter 26 verse 12 that he sold in the land and in that same year he raped an hundred fold no matter the economic recession that your country may be passing through no matter the famine you may be passing through that people around you may be passing through i prophesy that just as isaac sow in the land even as you sow within the next 12 months you shall reap an hundredfold receive an hundredfold blessings receive it now receive it now receive it now in the mighty name of jesus christ i need god blessings that is the title of this message and the reference text is taken from revelation chapter 1 verse 3 that says blesses is he that readeth and they that hear the words of prophecy and keep those things which are written their hand. God bless you is a common refrain and everyone desires to be blessed by God one way or the other. But the reference text we have just read, Revelation chapter 1 verse 3, needs three conditions that must be fulfilled before you can receive divine blessings. There are three conditions you need to fulfill in order to receive the blessings of God. There are three conditions you need to fulfill in order to receive divine blessings. There are three conditions you need to fulfill in order to walk in divine blessings. And these three conditions are listed in Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. It says, Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of prophecy and keep those things which are written in their hand. The first condition you need to fulfill in order to receive God's blessings is that you must read the word of God. You should read and meditate upon the word of God day and night. And the question the Spirit of God is asking you today is that how often do you read the Bible? If you want God to bless you daily, then you must read the Bible daily. If you read the Bible once a week or once a month or once a year, perhaps God is just going to bless you once in a week or once in a month or once in a year. If you are not familiar with the word of God, you are a stranger in the kingdom. And definitely, there are limited blessings for strangers. The closer you are to God, the more he is going to give you spiritual and physical blessings. Blessings is he that read it. If you want to be blessed, if you want to become a blessing, then you have to read the word of God. Then you have to meditate upon the word of God day and night. Then you have to know your scriptures. Then you have to memorize the word of God. Then the word of God has to be part of you. Then you have to chant the word of God. You must know how to recite as many scriptures as possible if you want healing blessings you must compile the healing scriptures and memorize them and recite them if you want financial blessings you must compile the scriptures that this with financial breakthrough you must be able to memorize them and recite them and chant them as many times as possible if you want healing blessings you must stand upon the words of god that talks about healing you must compile the scriptures that talks about healing that talks about sun air that talks about god taking away your sicknesses you must be able to to memorize them you must meditate upon them day and night and you must be able to recite them the word of god is living and active the word of god is sharper than a double-edged sword even as you stand upon the word of god i believe that the blessing of god shall manifest they shall manifest they shall manifest in the mighty name of jesus christ if you want the blessings for marital breakthrough you must stand upon the word of god that talks about the marriage institution that talks about your husband locating you and as you stand upon the word of god i am persuaded that your marital breakthrough shall spring forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you want generational blessings, if you are Zoom or if you know that you are laboring under any cause, you must believe, you must stand upon the word of God that talks about Jesus Christ breaking your causes, about Jesus Christ breaking your use. You must compile the scriptures and you must memorize them. You must meditate upon them day and night. And as you do that, every cause over your life, over your marriage, over your children, over your family, over your businesses, so your destiny they shall be broken they shall be broken in the mighty name of jesus christ therefore the first step you need to take in order to receive divine blessings is that you must read the bible what else do you need to do in order to receive the blessings of god the second thing you need to do is that you must hear the word of god 
Let's look at Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 again. It says, Blessed is he that read it, and they that hear the words of prophecy. Do you want God to bless you? Then you must always tune in to the radio and television stations of heaven. How do you achieve this? You need to continuously hear the word of God through Christian tapes, through Christian compact discs, through messages by men of God. And of course, you have to always be in the presence of God through church services and Bible fellowship. Most of us spend more time in washing what worldly films, watching worldly movies, and listening to worldly music instead of being in the presence of God. You can't be blessed by God if your physical and spiritual antenna is too most of the times to worldliness, if it's too most of the times to club houses, if it's too most of the times to party. You need to hear the word of God. You need to fellowship with Christian. You need to fellowship with fellow brethren. The Bible says iron chaperet iron. Therefore, the more you hear the word of God, the more the word of God manifests in your life. The more you hear the word of God, the more the word of God is activated in your life. The more you hear the word of God, the more the word of God works for you. Therefore, if you want to receive God's blessings, you have to hear the word of God. The Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And the same Bible says that you cannot please God except by faith. Therefore, as you stand upon the word of God, as you hear the word of God, as you speak the word of God, as you confess the word of God, as you stand upon the word of God, the blessings of God, your divine blessings shall surely manifest. They shall surely manifest. They shall surely manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The third condition for receiving divine blessings is to keep the word of God. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 says, Blessed is he that read it, and they that hear the words of prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. Therefore, for you to receive divine blessings, you need to keep the word of God. The third condition of receiving divine blessings is that you must adhere to the word of God. There is no shortcut to breakthroughs or salvation. You can't be blessed by indulging in sin. You need to familiarize yourself with the word of God by reading the word of God and hearing the word of God. Once we have read the word of God and once we have heard the word of God, we must also keep what we have read and what we have heard. You have to obey the laws of God. You have to obey the commandments of God. You have to obey the statutes of God. You have to fear God. And the Bible says that wisdom comes by fearing God. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of God. You keep the word of God by running away from sin. You keep the word of God by walking in righteousness and holiness. You keep the word of God by ensuring that your heart is a heart of integrity. You keep the word of God by avoiding sin. And as you do that, the blessings of God shall automatically run in. As you read the word of God, as you hear the word of God, as you keep the word of God, the blessings of God over your life, over your family, over your marriage, over your ministry, over your businesses, over the work of your hands shall surely run in. They shall surely run in. They shall surely run in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy to you, I decree and declare that you are a blessed man and you are a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every cause that is working against your breakthroughs, I rebuke them, I buy them, and I cast them out, I cast them out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to conclude this message by encouraging you to give your life to Christ because there is no way you can be divinely blessed if you are indulging in sin, if you are walking in sin, if you are walking with Satan instead of walking with God. You have to have a relationship with your maker. You have to have a relationship with the one that can bless you. By your strength, you cannot prevail unless God helps you you cannot help yourself therefore you have to lift your eyes to the haze and look unto the person that can bless you and how you need to do that is to confess that Jesus Christ is your Lord and personal Savior the Bible says that if you believe in your heart the Lord Jesus and confess with your mouth that Christ raised him from the dead you shall be saved and persuaded that somebody who has heard this message and wants to be saved and wants to be blessed by Lord all you need to do is that right there where you are you need to give your life to Christ perhaps you have given your life to Christ in the past, all you need to do is to rededicate your life to Christ. You can say this simple prayer after me, and right there, you shall be saved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Lord, I come to you just as I am. I confess I'm a sinner. I repent of my sins today. I pray that the blood of Jesus Christ shall wash away all my sins and iniquities. I accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I invite the Holy Spirit to fill my life. I am born again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you have said that simple prayer, you are now a child of God. 
God and I release the blessings of Abraham over you, the blessings of multiplication, the blessings of fruitfulness, the blessings of financial breakthrough, the blessings that will cause your glory to shine. Receive that blessing, receive the blessings of Abraham, receive the blessings of Isaac, receive the blessings of Jacob, receive the blessings of Israel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the God of Israel shall give you a blessings that money cannot buy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I provoke your marital blessings, your financial blessings, your spiritual blessings, your business blessings. I provoke them to manifest. I provoke them to spring forth. Let them spring forth. Let them spring forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic covering over your blessings, I command them to be roasted by fire, be roasted by fire, be roasted by the fire of the God of Elijah in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every of your blessings, every of your riches, every of your opportunities, every of your nera, your cobalt, your pounds, your dollars, your euro that has been buried in the grave. I speak to the heart to vomit your blessings. I speak to the land to open up its mouth and vomit your breakthroughs. I speak to the heart to vomit your babies, to vomit your marital breakthrough, to vomit your husband, to vomit your wife, to vomit your job, to vomit your visas, to vomit your opportunities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I leave you with the blessings of Abraham. I leave you with the blessings of Isaac. I leave you with the blessings of Jacob in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every waters that has swallowed your blessings to vomit your blessings. Let your blessings be vomited. Let your riches be vomited. Let your wealth be vomited in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that he has swallowed riches, he shall vomit them. The Lord shall cast it out of his belly. The Lord shall cast it out of his womb. Therefore, I speak the word of God against any power anywhere, every witchcraft power, every spiritual forces of darkness that has swallowed your blessings, that has swallowed your breakthroughs, that has swallowed your marriage, that has swallowed your children, that has swallowed your opportunities, that has swallowed your businesses, that has swallowed your salvation. I command them to vomit your blessings. Let your blessings be vomited. Let them be vomited. Let your prosperity be vomited. Let your marital breakthroughs be vomited, let your financial breakthroughs be vomited in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that with blessings, go and be fruitful, go and overcome, go and dominate, go and be a blessings, go and multiply, and go and subdue in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Perhaps there's any cause of failure, any cause of struggling, any cause of sudden death, any cause of profitless hard work that you have been laboring under. The Bible says that Jesus Christ redeemed us from the cause of the Lord because he was made the cause for us. Therefore, every ancestral cause, every cause of God shall not exist. I speak the word of God against you. I challenge you by the fire of the God of Elijah. I challenge you by the blood of Jesus Christ and I command all those causes that has been working against your financial breakthroughs. I command them to be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are a blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, heaven is our portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as you walk with God, as you walk in holiness and righteousness, as you meditate and read the word of God, as you stand upon the promises of God, as you hear the word of God, as you avoid sin, I am persuaded that the blessings of God shall overshadow you. The blessings of the God of Abraham shall envelop you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is Save the World, an online Christian ministry with a divine mandate to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Baba Tokpe Babalobi. Perhaps you want to contact me for further counseling our prayers the phone number to call is plus two three four eight zero three five eight nine seven four three five the number again is plus two three four eight zero three five eight nine seven four three five it is where with you go and manifest the blessings of your maker in jesus mighty name amen